Good morning guys, so it's about 6 o'clock on Wednesday morning right now. As you may be able to tell, I have a little bit of a cold, but it's not going to stop me. I'm off to Dallas. I've packed my bags, they are sitting here waiting, and now I'm waiting for my mum, who is coming with me. So I just wanted to show you guys the sunset, or sunrise even. God, it is that early. Um, yeah, look at that, pretty, it's pink. Um, come on, mum, hurry up. We are going to the airport and going to Beautycon, Texas, woohoo! Bye, beautiful girl, I love you. I love you, Treaky, bye-bye. Bye-bye. They're like, where the hell are you going this early in the morning? Bye, pig. Love you guys. Love you guys. Look after Mike. I found her. You actually probably can't see Mom because it's so dark. Um, we are in the airport right now. We're getting a little bit of breakfast before we take off. Got some scrambled eggs, and smoked salmon, some toast, and a coffee, which is much needed. I'm feeling really tired. <laughs> But I think we have like an hour and a half for our flight. Maybe we can fit in a little shopping. A little bit of shopping. Maybe. So we made it to Dallas. We're in our rental car. I've kind of made mum drive because I was too scared. And we're currently, we just missed our turning. I don't know if you guys can see out the back. There is a crazy intersection with like, or it looks like Spaghetti Junction. There's like stuff going everywhere. Um, okay, we need to go left here, mum. Follow that car in front. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh God. This is scary. We've arrived in our room. It's actually super nice. I thought we would do a quick room tour for you all because I'm quite excited about this room. Um, so here's the door when you come in. And after you come in, <laughs> mum's laughing at me. On the right, there's a closet. As you can see, we've like unpacked. I don't normally do this, I like, properly unpack, but I feel like because mum was doing it, I felt like maybe I should unpack. This is my side. This is all my clothes I brought with me and my bags. I bought four bags for four days. Is that really bad? I think it's quite bad. Um, and then that's mum's side. And then this is the room. So it's really big. We've got loads of space. There's mum coughing away. Um, and we've got two beds. That one's my bed and that one's mum's bed. I was very happy about this because normally when I have to share a bed with mum she gets a bit cosy and she cuddles and I'm like mum get off me especially now because I've got a cold. Um, so yeah and then this is the rest of the room. We've got some armchairs and a sofa and a desk and it's a super super nice evening. Look outside the window and you can see Dallas. Blue skies, nice sunset. I think we're gonna go and get some drinks, but um, we have a booking for dinner in about 45 minutes. So that's what Dallas looks like. And then, yeah, this is the rest of the room. But the only thing that's kind of weird is that the room is huge and then the bathroom is pretty small. Um, so this is the bathroom, all of our stuff is there. And then there's the shower. So it's pretty small in the bathroom, but the room is big. And I'm glad we have two beds, because like I said, mum gets overly cozy. Although, I just wanted to show you this because- it's cold. I, yeah, and I have such. You've got a cold as well, haven't you? I know, so we're probably both snoring. Both ill. We'll both be snoring away. Um, these are the pajamas that Mum bought. Stars. These are the pajamas that I bought. Stars and snowflakes, but they've got stars on them too, like little ones. See, like mother, like daughter. We've come for dinner in a place called the Palm, which is a little walk down from our hotel. And this is what it looks like. Here's Mum. It's a romantical setting right here. Um, and on the walls, there's caricatures of like. Apparently famous people that I've eaten here, but I have no idea who any of them are. Um, it's also a steak restaurant, but we're not making steak. Ultimate fair. Just in case you wanted any bread, Mum. Is that enough bread for two people? <laughs> yes. So the food has arrived. I have a lot of crab cakes. This is like a lot. I'm excited about this. And Mum got linguine with clams in a steak restaurant, ultimate fail, but we're here for four days, I feel like we're having steak. I just don't feel like having like a big chunk of meat having just got off a really long flight. Jet lag is starting to kick in, um, and I'm feeling a bit like, you know, that delusional, weird feeling, starting to feel that. It's our first official day in Dallas, and I thought I would do a quick outfit of the day. Before we leave, we're going shopping today. Surprise, surprise. Um, I've curled my hair using my GHD waver, although you know when you're ill and you get really clammy hands, it's the worst feeling when you're trying to curl your hair because it's just like gross, just gross. Um, but yeah, so then I have on my black H&M tee with my J Crew star necklace and my House of Harlow um, shark tooth, not a real shark tooth, it's a gold one. And then my jacket is from River Island, my Topshop jeans, and then my YSL leopard flats. I'm also taking my um, Philip Lim bag, which I actually quite like with this jacket, I'm gonna show you guys. So that is my outfit for today, off we go shopping. I'm super excited to hit up Sephora, J Crew, 
and everywhere else. Lululemon as well, oh my god. I feel like I haven't been to America in ages, I'm like shopping in America. Mum's excited, are you not? I am. What are you wearing today, Mum? Um. Do you not know? A jacket, black I do. jacket. Black leather jacket from. Massimo Duty? Yep. Shirts probably from Zara. No, TK Maxx. Ah, TK Maxx. Jeans. Zara. Zara. Shoes. Michael Kors. Oh, check you out. What about your bag? Bag. Le, le, love. Uh, le, however you say it. Looks like low, but it's spelled like love. Uh, love. Le, love. Uh. <laughs> I may have just hit up Sephora, which you can see behind me. Um, major damage was done. My mum actually bailed halfway because she was like, I just find Sephora so boring. I'm going to go and look in this shop, which is our house. Look, I get it, I get it now. Our house, do you get it? Our house in the middle of our street. I try to avoid going into, oh, she's there. What she found, she's found something. I try and avoid going into shops like this in America because they have the most amazing things and you can never buy them. And it basically makes me like want everything in the whole shop and I can never buy them. And she's in a kitchen, bathroom, an outdoor shop now. She will be wanting something ridiculous. She found coffee. What are you doing? I don't know. So we've come to some lunch at a place called Kona Grill. I've actually eaten here before, last time I was in Dallas, and it was so good. I'm so hungry. This is the one thing, jet lag makes my like food eating schedule really crazy. But I'm so excited about this right now, guys. I can't even convey how excited I am. I have a checkerboard roll, which is spicy tuna and yellowtail with yumminess inside. It's got like asparagus and yum. I have a ceviche bowl, which looks really good, and mum has the world's biggest salad. And it has, what is it, grilled asparagus Looking good. with chicken. It looks yummy. I'm going to devour this now. So we're stuck in traffic right now, driving in Texas for the first time. A little bit scary, but traffic makes it easy. Because <laughs> you don't have to actually go anywhere. So we're in the hotel bar right now. We've just got some drinks. I got a cranberry cucumber mojito i don't know what is up with the focus and mum got some wine they've just given us these crisps they are no joke the spiciest crisps i like i have a lot of spice and my mouth is on fire <laughs> absolutely on fire and we're getting ready to go and meet the girls from style hall for dinner which i'm super excited about because i haven't seen them since Probably BeautyCon New York, which is like nearly a year ago. A long time. Morning guys, it is day two in Dallas, or three, depending on how you look at it. Um, I didn't actually vlog any dinner last night because we were too busy chatting, but um, I had a really, really good time. And today it is gray and miserable outside. It's already about 11 o'clock because I've just filmed, edited, and uploaded a Sephora haul. So if you haven't already seen that, go and check that out and talking about things if you haven't already seen. I also, um, if you guys remember a photo shoot that I did with Min Max Beauty like two or three weeks ago, three weeks ago-ish, um, the photos are now up and if you guys want to see them I will link them below. They are amazing, like so so cool, I'm so happy with them and yeah let me know what you guys think if you check them out. Anyway, so this is what Dallas looks like today. Grey and miserable and slightly rainy. Um, so I think we're heading to an outlet mall. We're doing a lot of shopping. Like, we obviously did shopping yesterday and shopping today, but then um, we're not shopping tomorrow or the day after. So we're getting all our shopping done early. Um, I'm actually quite hungry. We had breakfast. We've been waking up at like 20 past six and then having breakfast at like half seven. So I don't know, by the time it gets to like midday, I'm like, seriously, I could eat a scabby dog. Not that I would ever eat a dog, but, you know. And this is today's outfit. Um, it's pretty casual, actually. I'm just wearing um, my teal shirt from Massimo Duty, the same necklaces as yesterday, my little um, silk, like, biker jacket thing from the Couples, my Philip Lim bag, the same as yesterday, my Zara jeans, the same as every single day of my life, and um, these I actually bought yesterday. I love them. They're so comfy. Um, yeah, they're going to be going in the haul video from this, like, in the clothing haul but yeah so that is my outfit for shopping let's go and eat i also thought as well there is in and out in texas so we may just be making mike super super jealous and going to in and out today i'm excited so we made it to in and out there's actually some pretty hairy driving on the way here um, just chucking it down the green this is mum's first ever in and out burger what are you thinking mum's a look good <laughs> Mike is going to be so jealous. The outlet mall sucked, so we came back here, um, and now we're actually heading out. Had a bit of a quick refresh. I just put some gum in my mouth. I'm sorry. I apologise. Talking with gum is really rude. Um, 
yeah, so now we're going to the Style Hall launch party for BeautyCon. It's actually pretty early, it's quarter to five, um, but we're meeting the Style Hall guys downstairs and going to the party, and Nikki's gonna be there, and I'm super excited. Shall we go? Let's go. At the Style Hall party right now. Exciting news, guys. Nikki, pull up. I looked like I such a fan popping into that. I, I was all. <laughs> She was I trying to get in on the intro. I was like, it has to be a surprise with me. You did a great job setting up this the is, It was such a surprise. I told them already that you Oh, man. It's the end. When I didn't vlog in the party because they've just finished the live music and it was so loud. And now there's a guy shouting me like, we're being Get out! The guy was great though. It was just extremely so good. Loud. He was loving it. If you want to see him, go and watch Nikki's vlog. You won't be able to hear anything yeah. he's saying, but you'll be able you'll to hear be, him. Yeah, you'll see a couple seconds of him. It'll be great. So, yeah, yeah. we're going to food now, right? Yeah. Tasty food. Tasty Texan food. We're not getting on this, but there is a school bus to transport people back from the hotel. Like a proper American yellow school bus. And I'm really jealous right now. I'm crashing the school bus right now. I'm just gonna go in and, and just take a little peek at what the school bus is like because this is like legit really exciting. So this is the American school bus. And there's like nobody on it. There's like 10 people on it. But this is very novelty for me. I'm a bit overexcited about it. <laughs> the food's arrived and I'm pleased to announce I have grits. I finally managed to do it. These are like my favorite thing ever and they don't exist in at all. So I'm happy about that. And there's still, there's creepy peacocks in here. This is room room right now. It's kind of weird, it's kind of like being in Alice in Wonderland, a little bit, a little bit like Alice in Wonderland, right? There's like peacocks everywhere. Are you liking the grits, Mum? <laughs> okay, so I didn't vlog this when we were actually eating it, but before we leave I want to show you guys, they have like DIY s'mores on the table. What? So there's fire. If you guys are English and you've never had a s'more before, Mum had never had one either. We're in like the kind of campsite, tree, woodland setting. We have the fire, mum is melting the marshmallows. This is the first time she's ever done a s'more. She's learning, Nikki's drinking. I'm chugging my wine. <laughs> We're like, ev everyone else is gone, we're just like the alcoholics. Mum, what are you doing? I like how you lump us all in alcohol. So, it's well, it's just me. you. Um, so yeah, basically, a s'more, if you're English, mum's doing it wrong, because you're meant to put the chocolate on. No, 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 put the chocolate on top. Okay, mum puts the chocolate on top. You get the graham cracker, they call them, but in England we would call them graham crackers. Graham? Um, yeah, that's Graham with the H. The proper way, Graham. Hi, Graham. Yeah, that's, that's the real way to say things. You Americans, Graham cracker. the Graham cracker, <laughs> um, and then you put the chocolate on, and it melts because the marshmallow is hot. Mum is demonstrating perfectly, and then you put another cracker on top. You squish it together, and then you eat it. This is you meant to eat it now, Mum. What can you do? I can't remember because the wheat. You have to oh. devour that delicious perfection. <laughs> Basically, the coolest. Coolest communal pudding ever, ever. That's gonna be it, I think, for this. I'm gonna do another vlog tomorrow, like a separate one, otherwise this vlog is gonna be like five hours long. So I'm gonna say goodbye here, and I'll see you tomorrow for BeautyCon Dallas. I'm excited, I'm really excited. Nikki's excited too. <laughs> what? Nikki's just dancing. Look at this, this is the dancer in her is coming out. <laughs> That's enough for tonight, guys. I'll see you tomorrow, bye. Welcome to the, what are you two doing, <laughs> hooligans? Welcome to the very last day of Fed vlog. Today, we are back in one of my favorite places. We're in Westfield. I haven't been to Westfield for ages. These guys are fools. Um,